Hello, Z-Bird. Today we go on a crime-solving adventure in Detective Pikachu Returns. I never got to play the original game on the Nintendo 3DS, so I'm so excited to play this brand new sequel for the Nintendo Switch. Can we team up with this talking Pikachu and crack the case? Let's find out together. Aw, he's so cute. The name's Pikachu. And I'm what you might call a great detective. Ooh. So this is Detective Pikachu. Never could have guessed. With my bolts of brilliance, I've solved many mysteries. My partner Harry and I ran into some trouble on a case. Harry suddenly disappeared, and I'd lost all my memories. After that, I was wandering the city when I ran into Tim. Somehow, he could understand what I was saying. Our goals were one and the same. Find Detective Harry, because my missing partner just so happened to be Tim's dad. Whoa. While we were searching for Harry, we uncovered a series of crimes involving R, a chemical that drove Pokemon berserk. Tim and I managed to solve the case and save Rhyme City. And yet... Mary was still missing. Even now... The two of us are still searching for him. Harry... Just where the heck did you go? Aww. And here we go, Detective Pikachu returns. So Harry wasn't just Pikachu's partner, but Tim's dad. And so, to promote an even stronger bond between the people and Pokemon of Rhyme City, I hereby proclaim this day the start of Pokemon Friendship Week. To Aww. commemorate this event, we present this award to Tim Goodman and Pikachu, who say- <coughs> Harry! Pikachu, great detective known for his bolts of brilliance. Yeah. Oh, Pikachu, I'm sorry. I guess that's a sign I better wrap this speech up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, none of the other people can understand him. Tim Goodman, wearing his iconic oh, red hoodie. He couldn't have picked a worse time to doze off. Sorry, sorry. Now then, due to the R incident of two years ago, some of our citizens began to doubt Rhyme City's motto, coexistence with Pokémon. So to those of you who were affected, I offer you my deepest sympathies. Howard Myers, mayor of Rhyme City. What's Whoa. that? A Corviknight? Corviknight slices through the sky on metal wings. Oh, it's coming this way. Oh no! Ah. Sir, follow me. This is trouble. Everyone, get inside right away! So some of the Pokemon are attacking people now. That's not good. What the heck is going on? Could it be R? R? Don't think so. Its behavior is different. It's all right. Just calm down. Whoa! Pikachu, no, your hat. Now you're just a normal Pikachu. Pikachu. Ugh, lousy Corviknight! It just made off with my signature hat! Uh, my dad gave you that hat. Yeah, we gotta get it back. Huh. <clears throat> you know how important that hat is to me? And Corviknight just flew off with it. What a mess. Let's go get it back. Hmm? What's that? Oh, it's a notepad. Hey, Tim, over here. Okay, sure. So it looks like we can just walk up and talk to Pikachu, examine this thing. Some kind of notebook. Look, this must be the notebook the mayor dropped. Oh. There's something inside. A family photo? Aw. This girl looks familiar. Oh, she's the one who didn't look too happy during the mayor's speech. That's my classmate, Rachel. She knows a lot about Pokemon. 
Huh? Whoa, whoa, time out. You know her? Why am I just now learning this? Huh. We should return this notebook to Mayor Myers. Yeah, but first we gotta deal with Corviknight. Right, let's go, Pikachu. All right, so look for Corviknight. Can I just walk up and talk to Pikachu? I guess not. This is so cool, so I get to run around and solve mysteries. Hmm, now what do we do? That's, uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Oh no, Padove, a regular sight in Rhyme City's parks, poor thing. Oh, is that Padove unconscious? Don't touch it, moving this Pokemon could injure it. Hey, you big guy, what happened to Padove? Well, I'm at a loss, nothing we've tried so far is working. Hey, can you even hear me? You, cut your Pikachu's Pika Pika chatter and evacuate the area. No, he can't. Will Butler, Chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau. And Aldino, can hear how healthy you are. Which, they seem pretty upset, so they're not hearing much healthiness. I need to track down the Corviknight and get this area evacuated, but I can't just leave this Padove here. Hey, what happened? Calm down, Pikachu. To everyone else, you're just saying Pika Pika. I'm the only one who understands what you're saying. Oh, right, sorry. Got a little worked up seeing Padove in such a bad shape. Okay, Tim, it's all on you to ask the big guy while one down. Excuse me, what happened here? Hmm? Oh, you're that young and detective. Yes, I'm Tim Goodman, and this is my partner, Pikachu. Will Butler, Pokemon Protection Bureau. And this is Aldino. And this Aldino is with the Police Department's Rescue Squad. Aldino. I'll spare you the details. Right now, we need to help this Padove. All that wind Corviknight whipped up blew it around and knocked it out. Aldino used to move to help Padove recover, but it still hasn't woken up. Aw. Chief, no civilian injuries to report at this time. Copy that, great work. Now. I really should get back to leading the evacuation, but I can't just leave Padove here unconscious. You ought to clear out of here too, young detective. Mr. Butler, let us help you take care of Padove. We'll find a way to wake it up. Yeah, let a couple of great detectives handle this. You? Hmm, this is an emergency situation, one that requires my full attention. Maybe I should let you help. All right. I'll leave waking up this Padove to you. I'm counting on you, young detective. Yes, sir. Let's go, Pikachu. Okay. Oh, oh no, that's the other one over there. I guess it's Padove. Like, a, like okay. <laughs> I guess I'm pronouncing it wrong. Hmm? Hey, why don't we talk to this other Padove? Sure, let's give it a shot. Okay, so I can just walk over. I guess with Pikachu's help, I might be able to talk to them. And I guess I can talk to everybody else too. Hang in there, Padove. Help us find a way to wake up that Padove. I'm counting on you, young detective. All right, so I'll talk to you over here. Hold on a sec, Tim. Before we talk to these guys, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, what is it? Cases don't just pop up when it's convenient for us. I don't gotta tell you that, right? Right. And it's been a good long while since our last case. Well, that's true. So let's hit pause and jog our memories on how we go about investigating a case. We'll do this one by the book, all right? If you say so. Tim, this is our first investigation in a long time. Fortunately, the Dove's injuries are already healed. All we gotta do is find a way to wake it up. Some might call it a coincidence, but me? I call it an opportunity for a detective work tutorial. Perfect, right? I suppose. Let's refresh your memory and make sure we conduct a full investigation. Okay, got it. First, let's quickly go over how we investigate. I talk to the Pokemon, and I talk to the people. Together, the two of us will gather evidence and talk testimonies from people and Pokemon and piece them all together to solve the case. Yep, that's how we do it. Exactly. Okay, this round of questioning is all yours, Pikachu. Sure thing, here I go. Hey, Padov, can I talk to you? I'm guessing your pals with that unconscious Padov. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Who? It says their friend's taking a nap and won't wake up. 
So it thinks that unconscious Padov is just sleeping? I guess so. You really love the smell of, wait, what, huh? What's that gonna do with anything? Nice strong aroma makes the sleepy time go away. That's what it's saying. You'd think these Padov would be more concerned about their unconscious friend instead of tripping about some smell. I'm gathering there's a certain aroma that Padov are really into. Guess so that's all we're gonna get. Maybe we should question some of the other Padov around here. Like this one right over here. Hmm. Hey Tim, come here for a sec. All right, consulting Pikachu. If you get stuck during your investigation and see the light bulb icon in the lower left corner of the screen, you can press the left button to consult with Pikachu and get a hint. Sure, so I guess we should do that right now, press the left button. I'm a little curious about what that Padov was saying. Yeah, its friend is unconscious, but all it wanted to talk about was an aroma it likes. Yep. Nice strong aroma makes the sleepy time go away. That's all I could get out of it. Aroma, sleepy times, go away. Wait, what if it was talking about using some kind of scent? And what if that scent could wake up its friend? That's it, Tim. If we can find the strong aroma those Padov are we're, we're chirping about, maybe it'll wake up their unconscious friend. That's what I'm thinking. It's worth a shot at least. But how are we going to find a scent like that? There might be some Pokemon who haven't evacuated yet. Maybe we can ask them. Hmm. That reminds me. Listen up, Tim. If you're having trouble during an investigation, you can call me at any time. I can give you advice discreetly so no one else notices. Of course, you can also just mull things over on your own. But if you get stuck, it might be a good idea to take a break or retrace your steps. That's important too. Cool, so we get the sub menu. You can press the plus button during gameplay to open the sub menu. In this menu, you can save the game and change your game settings. You can press the ZL button during gameplay to reread recent conversations. Older conversations eventually disappear, so be careful not to forget what was said. Got you. Okay, here we go. So I guess we can interview another Pokemon right over here, right? Maybe not? You're all worried about your friend, huh? I guess not. Well, I can talk to uh, you. Hey, any idea where we can find a nice strong aroma? I guess you wouldn't know, huh? All right, so may I mean maybe uh, Will Butler, Butler would know? Uh, help us find a way to wake up that Padov. I'm counting on you, young detective. I guess not. So I guess that they have an exclamation mark over their head, that means that they might have something new to say, but the triple dots means we've already talked to them. That seems to be the case. But let's talk to this uh, Magnemite. Magnemite, levitates using electromagnetism. Little jolt of Magnemite here might be just what Padov needs to wake up. Yeah, you can't use your move, so you'd have to ask Magnemite to do the jolting for you. Let's not go there. You know I'd use my moves if I could. Oh, I'll tell you what the problem is. We've got a, we've got a Padov that won't wake up. I was thinking one of your electric type moves could jolt it awake, though probably only as a last resort. Oh, you'd be willing to help us out? Thanks. If all else fails, we'll hit you up for an electrifying assist. Interesting, so I don't think we quite want to do that just yet until we've definitely warned all of our others. Whoa, okay, you're way taller than I thought you'd be. This is uh, oh. Zatu, stares into the great beyond. So cool. That's Zatu. I can never tell what it's staring at or what it might be thinking, but that's the sort of Pokemon who's probably got all kinds of incredible knowledge. I don't know about that, but let's try asking it if it knows anything about how to wake up a dove. Way ahead of you. Hey, Zatu. Can you hear me? Hey. I think I think it's too busy looking off into space. It's not saying anything. I wonder what's wrong. Ooh. Oh, it wants peace and quiet while it's so sunbathing. It's awfully calm, given all the commotion going on. Hmm. Maybe we should try asking someone else. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so I love all the neat people we can meet just through, you know, talking to Pokemon too. But uh, it's interesting also how Pikachu, I guess, doesn't have his abilities right now. Uh, hi. Please be careful. Whoa, what Pokemon is this? Actually, I don't know. This is Aromatisse. Exudes an enchanting aroma. Interesting. You're Aromatisse, aren't you? What are these Padov surrounding you for? Huh. 
They started flocking to it as soon as it got here. These Padov have been following Aroma Tis around? You're asking it to make the nice aroma? Oh, this might be it. Hurry up, make the nice aroma. The Padov are really getting on its nerves. Seems like these Padov are all drawn to a scent that Aroma Tis emits, which means Aroma Tis might be able to help us wake the unconscious Padov. Good thinking, Pikachu. Let's ask if Aromatisse is willing to help us out. Um, hey there, Aromatisse. Would We could use some help. It'll help us out if we can get the Padov to stop following it around. Fair enough, let's talk to the Padov. I just hope they understand us. All right, let's chat with them. So cute. Sorry to ask you this, but could you move, you know, somewhere else? Hey now, hey, now's not the time to stop and smell the aromas. We're trying to help your friend here. Say, guess what? Pretty soon, Aroma Tease is gonna go make lots of nice aromas. Right over there. Are on board with the nice aromas over there plan. So they'll move? Great. So there goes one of them. What about the other? Oh no, they both left. Aroma Tease should be willing to help us out now, right? I hope so. It's happy to lend a hand now that we've got those Padov to move. Great, let's take Aromatisse back to the square. Okay, Aromatisse, here's the Padov. Please help it. Seems like Aromatisse is up to it. Is this the awakening aroma? All right. I guess it is. <laughs> Glad that worked. Me too. Oh. But Dove's awake. Wow, Aromatisse's scent is nice. But it's kind of like a really strong perfume. I don't get why the Padov like it so much. I don't know, but they, they really do. Glad you're enjoying it. Yep, you were a huge help, Aromatisse. Thanks. All right, well, there we go. That was sort of a mystery solved. Excellent work, young detective. That perked Padov right up. I didn't even consider getting help from the other Pokemon in the area. Oh yeah, come to think of it, a police officer was calling the, this big guy chief. I wonder why. How about you ask him and find out? About you, Mr. Butler. Yes, I'm Will Butler, Chief of the PPB. The PPB? We're on an or we're an organization dedicated to protecting the Pokemon of Rhyme City, the Pokemon Protection Bureau. So it's kind of like the police, but focused on Pokemon. I didn't know we had something like that. The Bureau only recently started its official operations. At the moment, we're borrowing office space at Rhyme City Police Station and cooperating with the police. We were dispatched to provide security, but, well, just look what happened. I can't believe the fiasco this big occurred on my watch. It's honestly an embarrassment. About the Pokemon Protection Bureau. We were formed two years ago as a response to the infamous R incident, a case you two solved. Back then, Pokemon related disturbances were happening all over the city. The human and Pokemon residents of Rhyme City were deeply affected by that. Mayor Myers was so shaken by what occurred, he took it upon himself to create the PPB as a countermeasure. He wanted to make sure crimes involving Pokemon, like the R incident, would never happen again. That's why this organization exists. Isn't keeping the peace the police job, though? In the past few years, Rhyme City has seen a concerning rise in the number of reported incidents and accidents. The police are struggling to handle so many incidents, including those involving Pokemon. But now, the police can protect the human population of Rhyme City while the PPB protects the Pokemon. By dividing up the work, we can keep everyone safe. Ah, so that's where the PPB was formed. Just what I'd expect from Rhyme City. How it really is looking out for us Pokemon, huh? All right, cool, so nice talking to you. By the way, young detective, I was watching your investigation earlier and couldn't help but notice. Were you explaining things to Pikachu? Huh? I don't think Pikachu understands what you're telling him now. Unless the two of you can 
Uh, no, I'm not actually talking to him. It's more like getting advice. No, that's not it, it's... Oh, I get it. You taught the Pikachu to organize your thoughts. Interesting way to form your deductions, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Hmm. Well, we do understand each other, actually. Phew, that was close. I thought he'd caught on to us. Be careful, usually folks wouldn't believe we can talk to each other. I guess maybe they just wouldn't really take us as seriously if that was the case, which is sort of a shame. Whoa! Ah, what's happening now? It's back again. Exactly. Come on, let's chase it down. Sir. All right, we're after it. <laughs> With a slowly paced walk. Oh, it's Corviknight again. Hey, give me back my hat, would ya? The chief went after Corviknight in his patrol car. I bet Corviknight still has my hat. Let's follow it. What was that, eggs? Those are Pokemon cries. Sounds like they're coming from the direction Corviknight flew off in. Let's go check it out. All right, so head in the direction Corviknight flew off to. I won't a moment, I figured we'll talk to people around here. Why aren't we running away? Well, I gotta get my hat back from Corviknight. Thanks for looking out for me. You stayed safe too, okay? You should evacuate too, Detective. Well, there's a Pokemon up there. Uh, they're sort of all around. I can't really chat to them at the moment. Uh, what about down here? Got it blocked off by a police car. Okay, so I'll rush over here. And I guess there's not too much to do. Whoa, here we go. Pikachu, look, it's huge. Well, how do you like these apples? They're scattered all over the place. What a mess. So, yeah, I forget what you're called. Executor, right? Is this a tree? And it's growing here? It's kind of weird, unless, unless what? No, no, this is definitely weird. Can I not talk to you? I guess not. So I guess we haven't realized that it's an executor just yet. Can I go into doors? By the way, I can't, okay. Uh, hi, can I talk to this side of you? No, we got a little apple right here, whoa. Applin lives in an apple. Whoa, I was not expecting that noise from an Applin. It's dangerous here, Applin. You should find somewhere that's safe. That's odd. It doesn't seem like it wants to leave. Let's talk to it. About hey. you, Applin. I haven't seen any Applin in the city before. Where'd you come from? Oh, you got to sleep in a wooden crate. When you wake up, you're always someplace, someplace new. So the Apple vendor travels to different locations and this Applin gets carried along. The Apple vendor probably doesn't know about this Applin. Something suddenly shook it awake a moment ago. I'll bet that was Corviknight. Same goes for the crates getting toppled over. I don't see the Apple vendor. They must have evacuated the area. What happened Apple. here? So the wooden crate sh crates shook. You got thrown out. And that's when you realize your friends were missing? It got separated? Then let's help it find its friends. Good thinking. How many friends were here with you? Two? Okay, got it. So we have to find two more Applin. Hmm. From what Applin said, I think I get what's going on here. But as much as I'd like to go get my hat back from Corviknight, we can't just abandon a Pokemon in need of our help. Yeah. What kind of great detectives would we be if we didn't lend a ha helping hand or two along the way? Okay, should we investigate the fallen apples over there? I'd be happy to, if there wasn't a tree in, in the way. Something about it seems odd to me. Maybe we should investigate that first. All right, so inspect the tree. Okay, so we can't investigate because this tree is in the way. What should we do about it? Well, we can't just cut it down. <laughs> eggs, eggs, eggs! Uh -oh. Whoa! This tree's an executor! Hey. Executor, a Lolan form, towering tropical Pokemon. Wait, isn't this an Alolan executor? I'd never seen one before, so I didn't even realize that. What's it doing here in Rhyme City? Why don't we ask and get some other questions while we're at it? We can't investigate until it moves anyway. Hey, Executor, over here, look down at your feet. Uh-oh, whoa, I think it's noticed us. 
Whoa, don't talk, all talk at once. How about this? Executor, I'll tell you which head should answer. Sound good? I guess so. Oops, forgot to say which head. About you, hey. Executor. Um, you, middle of sad. Why are you here? Eggs. <laughs> Guess he's been traveling around with the Apple vendor. That explains why it's here in Rhyme City. Hey. What happened here? You, right head, tell me what happened here. Corbin, I came flying through, and when you tried to dodge it, you bumped into the fruit stand? I knew it. By the way, have you seen a hat? Corbin, I took mine. I guess they would without altitude. Guess it happened a sudden, too suddenly for you to tell. Oh well. Huh. Hey. Uh, left head, we've got a favor to ask. Sorry, but we want to search through those apples scattered behind you. Could you please scooch over a bit? I guess they will. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh good, it moved for us. Now we can investigate the scene. So investigate the crime scene right over here. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be a couple of apples, and I think I already see one. This is where all the apples got scattered around. Let the investigation begin. Okay, I see mm -hmm. one on the right there. Remember what we're looking for? The two missing apple. That's right, there's a lot of apples here, so try not to overlook them, okay? So, we can move around a little bit. I see one right here. Lean. Found you. Hmm? Look, an apple. In. I found one. Apple. Have you been sitting still pretending to be an apple this whole time? That must make it take a whole lot of patience. Huh, patiently staying still is one of your talents? Impressive. That Corbin I got you wrapped up in quite a mess though, didn't it? Your friend is waiting for you. Okay, so there's one apple. In. But where is the other? There's a lot of apples here. Oh, maybe I can like mm -hmm. turn these over? It's an apple crate. No sign of an apple now. Hmm. What about you? Are you, hey, are you eating one? Oh, this is a tasty apple. Mm. Oh, you want some too, Tim? That could be our apple I'm friend. pay for it. <laughs> You're so silly. All right, well, luckily that wasn't one of them. I'm not seeing it, but it could be one of these ones turned over. There are apples everywhere. I don't see any apple. In. At this point, these apples are only good for making juice or jam or something. I'd still eat them, bruises and all. Mm. Well, we searched pretty thoroughly. I still don't see any, my, or see my hat or other apple now. Hmm, where could it be? Uh, uh oh. Behind the crate? Huh? huh? Did you see something move behind that crate? What? No, I didn't notice anything. Try checking again. Maybe something's changed. So over here. Whoa. Hey, it's her hat. Huh? My hat. Corbin, I dropped it. Could have sworn it wasn't here earlier. Anyway, I'm just glad to have it back. <sighs> this was a real pain. What? <laughs> it moved. Yeah. Hey, hey, get back here. The heck? Hey, quit playing around. Hey, I'm not playing at all. My hat keeps moving on its own. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Pikachu. He doesn't even see it. Whoa, it's climbing up Executor. See, told you so. Executor. This <laughs> is so I weird. Go get it. Guess so. Climb Executor. All right, I'll try. Well, Tim, lift me up. Okay. Pikachu should be pretty All good right. at climbing, right? Don't hurt yourself. Please, this'll be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Uh-oh, oh, I gotta bash the button, mash the button, mash the button, whoa, I did it. <laughs> Hold on tight, Pikachu. All right, now I'm ready. Now that I know I have to press buttons at a certain amount of time. Whoa! Come on, come on! Got it! Hold on tight! It's a long fall for a little Pikachu. Come on, almost there! He's all tuckered out. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Got it! Finally got you back. Ah! The apple one, too! Oh no. Oh. 
Oh no! Pikachu, it's an Applin. Whoa! Are you okay? Fine and dandy. Nice catch, by the way. Okay, it looks like uh, Tim was able to catch Pikachu. Are the Applin okay too? Yep, they all seem happy to be reunited. Good, glad they're all right. So one of them was wearing my hat, huh? Seeing it, mo it move on its own really threw me for a loop. I'm sure Corbin and I dropped the hat mid-flight and it just happened to fall on top of the Applin. Oh yeah, hey Tim, where's my hat? Don't worry, I've got it. At the end of the day, I'm just glad I didn't lose my hat. Me too, buddy. Yeesh, that was a hassle. Whoa, looking good. Yeah, now that's more like it. Yeah, you look like yourself again. Thanks, Tim. Harry gave me this hat to commemorate our partnership. The awards ceremony will resume shortly. We ask that all participants please return to the venue at this time. Uh, I guess we better hurry back. That darn Corva Knight. I'll let it off the hook just this once. All right, so I guess the, the ceremony is back on. Great work, thank you. And you as well, Pikachu. Yep. I can't say it enough. Rhyme City owes you a debt of gratitude for your efforts. We strive for coexistence between people and Pokemon in our fair city. And you two are the ideal detective duo. On behalf of the city, I am pleased to present you with this medal. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa, it looks great. Thank you, Mayor Myers. I'm honored. Of course you get one too, Pikachu. Aw. Yeah, I'm the great detective. Pika Pika to you too, little hero. Both of you, keep up the great work. Way to go, Tim! Congratulations, Han. Well, that's fantastic. So that was sort of our first little case and it turned out pretty well. Later that evening at Tim's apartment. Tim, I was so proud of you today. Irene Goodman, Tim's mother. You're amazing, Tim. Sophia Goodman, Tim's little sister. You think so? Everyone knows all about the amazing work you two have done. There was the Eevee abduction case, the fossil stealing spree, and the Rhine Tower standoff case, too. They even made a movie based on the R case. Ooh, I've seen that movie. Yeah, I thought that movie was pretty good, but how come Mom and me didn't even show up in it? I have no idea, but movies usually do their own thing, don't they? Yeah, I guess. Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. This is Dad's Pikachu, right? Yeah, he's my partner at the moment, though. I see. Whoa, whoa, what's with all the staring? He saved your dad from trouble many times. Oh, Pikachu, the news is about to start. Maybe there's an update on that Corviknight. Yeah. She's still staring now. She must feel some kind of connection, right? All right, check the TV. I will in just a second, but it looks like there's a ton of things to look at around here. Hey. Oh, these are our old case notes. Yep, it's all the stuff you told me to keep a record of. Not bad, Tim. There's a lot you can learn from past cases, you know. Show me what you've got there. Oh, the R case, huh? That takes me back. It was the first case we partnered up on. Yeah, R was a chemical that made Pokemon go berserk. It was created from you two cells. When a Pokemon was given R, its eyes would glow red and it would become enraged and violent. It was horrible. Even now, I still can't believe they used instant Pokemon to cause all those incidents. Same. 
That was one tough nut to crack, but we managed to catch the culprit in the end. As for Mewtwo's cells and the remaining vials of R, we confiscated all that stuff when we brought the culprit to justice. Speaking of which, in our final confrontation with that guy, you managed to use one of your moves. You usually can't use any of your moves. How were you able to pull that off? Beats me, I'm just as baffled as you are, kid. After Harry went missing, I lost all my memories for some reason. That's also when I realized I couldn't use any moves. Maybe the pressure of that intense situation is how you were able to use that move? Could be, it's a possibility at least. After I used that move, I just blacked down. I was really worried about you. Interesting, so obviously we missed some pretty dramatic stuff from the first game, but I did see the Detective Pikachu movie, which is what the, the two other characters here were mentioning, which was a real life movie, it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> These are the medals we received. They're proof of all the good we've done with our great detective work. Let's keep it up, Tim. Is there anything over here? <laughs> this is Pikachu's bed, so cute. Uh, yeah. this is our sister. This is your first time in Rhyme City, right, Sophia? Uh-huh, it's so busy and fun. I'm glad I came. That Corviknight surprised me, though. I'm glad you and Mom are okay. Right. I'm glad you're safe and doing well, Tim, but you hardly, you hardly ever call. I know no news is supposed to be good news, but you take that a bit too far. Sorry, Mom. About Rhyme City. Well. I haven't been to Rhyme City in quite some time now. Not since I last saw your father. Gosh, I guess it's been about two years then? About meals. Speaking of which. Tim, are you getting enough to eat? Yeah, stopping by the Hi Hat Cafe for breakfast is part of my daily routine. The Hi Hat Cafe? It's Pikachu's favorite spot. It's so close now that we've moved. I've been going there pretty much every morning. Hmm, maybe I should make some dinner for you tomorrow night then. It's been a while. You miss my cooking, don't you? Of course. Thanks, Mom. I'm looking forward to it. Well, that's cute. So I guess maybe the family is just in town for a quick visit. I didn't know if they all lived in the apartment, but here's the TV. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this breaking news. <gasps> oh, what's going on? According to amateur footage we've received from a viewer, Pokemon appear to have caused an explosion. This explosion occurred in the mountain range northeast of Rhine City. Whoa. This may be related to the recent uptick in incidents involving Pokemon. Rhine City Police and the newly established Pokemon Protection Bureau are investigating. Amelia Christie signing off. Hey, Tim, did you catch that? I hope that incident doesn't have anything to do with Dad. Same here. Mewtwo told me, two years ago, Dad's alive, and we'll be able to find him as long as we don't give up. Yeah, Mewtwo is still our only connection to finding Harry. Whispering to Pikachu, are you? Uh-oh. Uh You're just like your father, talking to Pokemon like that. Oh, <laughs> really? Huh. It's been two years since the R incident. Since then, we've solved all kinds of cases. The mayor even gave us an award for it. I can still talk to Pikachu and understand him. If the two of us keep solving cases together, I'm sure we'll find my dad someday. That's the plan, so I think this is the end of the prologue, very cool. So that was a really cool first impression. As somebody who hasn't really seen very much of the first game and definitely like I didn't play any of it, this is really fun. So I'm excited to continue exploring something with Me Too, or Mewtwo and all those bee drills was going on in the TV there. So I guess we might have to investigate that next in the next episode of Detective Pikachu Returns. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.